Hello everybody, welcome to another game of Dark Elves, uh, practicing for the World Cup, and we've got, um, yeah, NAF, NAF Dark Elves, six skills, I've gone for five Blodgers and one Roger, um, up against Jonesy, who's got a Leader Runner, three Dodge Blitzers, a Tackle Blitzer, a Wrestle Witch, and a Rookie Witch, or as Dimmy G would say, a Rookie. A rookie witch, Jimmy. Hello, everybody. <laughs> this is a really interesting Dark Elf build from uh, Jonesy. It's, uh, it's definitely out there. It's interesting. Yeah. I guess, like, I mean, the good thing is, is he's got the Apo and he's got the extra reroll. And he's actually got the tackle for you, which is actually pretty nice. But yeah, skillless witch and a runner with leader. And we all know... We all know what happens to runners with leaders, right guys? Right guys? They fail their first dodge and have to use the re-roll <laughs> to re-roll the dodge they failed yeah. and then they don't have leader anymore and they don't have dodge for the rest of the drive. Yeah, every time. Literally every time. So I thought that was crazy when I spoke to Elliot about vampires and I see vampire throwers with leader all the time. Mm. And, I'm, and I'm like, I should take the leader. He's like, no, don't take leader. You take dodge. Mm. I was like, that's madness. And then he went, no, because as soon as you fail your first dodge, you've wasted your leader reroll anyway. Mm. And if you have dodge, you've got a reroll for every dodge you've got to make for the rest of the drive. Yeah. Mm. Although I did take leader on my knob thrower because he's not dodging anywhere because he can't. <laughs> <laughs> This is absolutely useless. Is it a semi dacker Yeah. Mm. I mean, not really. It's, it's a conventional offense, I would say. Yeah? Are you going to give it a go? Yeah. Practice. Okay. Practice a conventional offense. I mean, it's, uh, it's ahead of a drug once you start. <laughs> Dark Elf Mirror is good practice as well. Yeah. There's probably going to be a few of these. Yeah. So you got no assassin in this build. You just got four blood blitzers, wrestle witch, blood witch. I think mean, this is like this is the most standard dark elf build, right? But yeah. no apo two reroll. Yeah, I don't know. This is the mankiz build. This is what uh, mankiz won oh, the euro ball um, singles with. It's quite it's quite yellow, isn't it? It's very it's a very yellow team. I mean. Is the bench better than the Apo? Because the Apo you can bring back a skilled player, right? If it's KO'd. Yes. So I think in overtime, the bench is better. Because... In, because in, I think I prefer the Apo, to be honest. Jim. But in overtime, you will lose someone, right? In overtime, you will have lost somebody. And if it's a serious injury, then the, then the reserve is way better. Yeah, but, yeah no. But in a 16 turn game, then like you get a lot of value out of Apple and your KO, right? Early on and stuff. So you, you like, but Apple and your KO early on is a lot worse in a game with overtime. So yeah. so you're losing a lot of the utility of an Apple in an overtime game. So Instant for, armor break. I know, right? To be fair, I'm, I made one as well. I gotta remember. Can't complain about that. Yeah, it's the online World Cup Center. So it starts next weekend well i say it starts next weekend it, it won't start next it officially starts next weekend but then people will put their rosters in i don't know games will probably start happening the following week yes uh, so i mean it's a week away so <laughs> um the 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 qualifiers have are going to be i mean actually the qualifiers have been confirmed um I'll, I'll decided the qualifiers for the world championship have been decided because Olivier's already qualified, right? So he's playing Spartacus um, tomorrow, but it doesn't matter because he's, he's, he's already qualified. Uh, Olivier's already qualified, so... Um, oh, is he playing Spartacus and Chalice? Yes, yeah, for like, because it's oh, the right, top okay. four from Chalice. So it's actually already been decided, um, essentially. It's just which way and whether they've done what they said they were going to do or they're going to do something you got, different. When have you got to put your roster in, by? Um, well, I don't know because they haven't told us anything yet. And I guess you can't change your roster 
from the group stage to the knockout stage. I, I guess would imagine just... not, no. That would be pretty Which... wild, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which means you kind of have to consider overtime, even though you're not going to necessarily be in overtime because you might get knocked out before overtime is even a thing. Exactly, yes. Which is quite crazy, yeah. That's, yeah. that's quite, that's quite, a, quite a tricky, precarious position to be in. Isn't it? Are we fouling? No. Um, no. No. Oh. I'm just packing my boys in. In a mean. Well, um, no need to be mean. <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, the, the thing is, with 64 qualifiers and private league qualifiers, there's a good chance that a few of them aren't going to be the best players, right? But all of the chalice people yeah. are at least decent, and uh, you know, some of the qualifiers are very good. We know. You know yeah, I think I think like once we get out of the group stage, we'll pretty much be pretty solid everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Have you played 100 test games and all the skill picks are like very good? BB job. Um, oh man, I got like I've just stopped posting. <laughs> I've, I've, I'm done. I'm defeated. Yeah, it's pretty funny though. Yeah, yeah, just fun to step away. <laughs> Save my energy for painting pro -Ls. Pretty excited about the painting. Green and yellow, Jim. Nice and yeah, a bit of black as well. Uh, black trousers. Yeah, black trousers. Yellow socks. Uh, yellow t-shirt. Green armor. Nice. Matches my blood bowl shirt, because you know, massive nerd. <laughs> oh, obviously, I was thinking, well, they have, nothing's been said yet, but of course, they're, they're at work, aren't they? So on Monday, <laughs> on Monday, I guess they'll do a thing of who the qualifiers are and then tell everybody, you know, they've got a few days to submit their roster. And then they'll have like admins, won't they? That oh, dirtbag. Yeah, that was pretty outrageous, wasn't it? I wasn't expecting that. Was, that. That was hilarious. Good lad. I mean, he had to do it. Well, he didn't have to do it, but like... <laughs> he wanted to, and he did. <laughs> yeah, he kind of did, so... Bosh. Did you guys fill in the Google form? No, because I haven't played any games, so they'll disregard <laughs> my opinion because I've played no games of the new rule set. <laughs> Banter! Yeah. <laughs> so then I thought what I would do is play 15 games and then fill it in. But then I realised that I don't want to play 15 games of that rule set. So I, just, <laughs> <laughs> I just haven't filled it in. Oh, and then and then I just think, like, I'm, I'm, I'm at the point now where I'm just like, I don't really mind. I'll just sit back, I'll watch, I'll let everyone scream and shout. like, And if it gets better, I'll go. If it doesn't get better, I just won't go. That's, yeah. that's pretty much where I'm at. Yeah, that's, I that's mean, I'm spending the enough. easier way of doing things. <laughs> yeah, I'm spending enough money on Blood Bowl next year already as it is, like with Water Bowl, NFC, Masters, UKTC, KTC. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's a lot of weekend tournaments so it's going to cost a few, a few pounds. Speaking of UKTC, uh, oh, with Wales. PCs here in the chat, Andy Devo just raided. Um, I've managed to find a team of, of fellow fun havers, and uh, we will be going to the UKTC. You know, no real, no real hope of winning, of course, but hopefully, we shall go there and and have a, a fun time um, with myself, PC, Andy Devo, oh, and oh. KFog. Tackle, tackle, blitz on the low AV. Yeah, I should not have left the witch there. Yeah. This is a quite an out of position blitz for him to do, so. I mean, it's a good blitz. Mm. It's the blitz. Yeah, but it's out of position blitz, right? It's a good attrition blitz, but it's a bad positional blitz, I think. I think he's still pretty solid. I mean, who would you blitz positionally? The, the, well, I just wouldn't end up to put out one of my players in front of the ball. Oh, and the thing is, is he can't step left because he will get surfed. Yeah. So he has to step down. Okay. I like this one more. Yeah. Like this, you blitz this guy, then you can two plus out. So I think this was the positional blitz. Rescue players. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, 
nice. Sticky wicket of thinking, do I sack off Europe Bowl for home nations? I mean, you're obviously... Go oh, what you mean the rule set for home nations? I mean, you're going to go... Man, the thing the thing that gets me is all the people who go, oh, I'm going to really hate it, but I'm going to go anyway. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I'm like... I'm like, that's not really how it works, but... Yeah. I'm not obviously when I say that I'm not I'm not telling people not to go. I like, obviously do what you choose to do. Like I don't want to sit there and argue with random people, strangers on the internet. I don't really need to. I'd rather paint pro elves. <laughs> I'm actually quite excited about playing pro elves until my LOS gets deleted in the first game, <laughs> and then I instantly regret it and go, "What have I done?" <laughs> and have to suffer a whole day of deletion. I probably should have uh, let myself go. Three and whoever replaces Jimmy last minute. I think Jimmy will go. Jimmy will go. Jimmy will definitely go if you three are his team. Yeah. And you definitely have a very good chance of winning it. A hundred percent. Hundred percent. And it's about time an English team won it. I can't remember, was it, this year was the Italians, right? Who won it last year? Were they English? And then the year before was the French, I remember that. The, like, the, the middle year where Jim came, I was so hungover, I don't even remember who won it. Like, or, <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember any of my games or anything, I just remember the agony being really... So spicy. Why did you do the GFI? So that this one doesn't get surfed. Ah, uh, okay. Nice. As I realised halfway through the turn, I was like, oh shit, this guy can get served. <laughs> but then, like, if, something. You, if you step one square up instead... Oh, yeah. But I've geofied, though, so if I'm here, he can still probably get round. I guess he can't get the support, so yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe I should have just gone out there. Yeah, yeah, okay. you're right. I mean, this is probably just better. I could, could I get there? Right. No, no, because I went, through, I went, I went this diagonal anyway, so I couldn't have got up. Ah, uh, I see you're right here. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> I don't need to argue with the internet. I argue enough in real life. <laughs> I don't. I don't really argue with anyone anymore, Santa. To be honest with you, I don't. I'm pretty chilled now. <laughs> Since I quit drinking, I'm pretty chill. I never really argued with anyone. Well, actually, no, that's a complete lie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to argue loads with people. I'm not really... What's the... What's like... Uh, really unimportant things, whatever that is. Mm. I wasted a lot of my life. Some stupid arguments and then nothing. Mm. At the end of the day, it's their rule set. Let them do what they want. Shit, yeah. I'll... I won't bother, and if it's good, I'll go. That's the thing. I feel like they're just entrenched into just wanting this stupid rule set, and you know. Yeah, I feel sorry for the guy as well, like because obviously he's got his vision and it's like his thing. But then, like, I mean, it's a bit different from organising, like as what is it? Purple Guru says it's a bit different from organising the local tournament in the scout hut than it yeah. is <laughs> the premier European competition for the year yeah. that will affect rule sets of all the tournaments leading up to it. You know, so. Yes. Yeah. And it's good that they've like opened up for feedback and everything, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's definitely it, a step in the right direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just that it's just that it, it feels like, you know, Gallic and the fucking bank rule, you know? Like <laughs> like that's what it feels like. It feels like the ga the the Gallic Star Scrape and the Bank Rule and so Gallic Star Scrape, do you know the story of that? Probably don't probably don't care. But basically this uh, guy thought of the rule yeah. and he really wanted it included even though it was shit. And so Jervis Johnson vetoed it because he had the power to veto a rule. So he vetoed that because it was shit. And then the guy would just never, ever, ever forget about it. Never shut up about it. Just went on and on and on and on and on about this fucking bank rule forever. Would never, ever let it go. And and that, you know, people just tend to be like that, don't they? So, yeah, it doesn't, that doesn't bode well. But hopefully they would. The scouts would have a better rule set.
Hmm. <clears throat> I've just got to try and find a rule set <laughs> that Chaucer are playable in in 2025. <laughs> And I don't know if it's possible. I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's going to happen. <laughs> I feel like that's my impossible goal of 2025, is to play Chaucer in a rule set where they're not absolutely dog shit. This is actually <coughs> nothing positional blitz for me. <laughs> If you do, I'll come. Yeah, just just so that you can smash my jaw. So. <laughs> the minis are great. The minis are really great. Unplayed, yeah. Uh, Chaucer, yeah, there's not going to be any Chaucer at Euro Bowl. And if they are, they're just going to be like fun havers. They're not going to be like competitive guys who are there to win. I say all that. You might get like one rando. But I don't think they'll do very well. Like their whole MO is kind of... Mind you, having said that, like maybe that rule set buffs Chorfs because it they you can't modify their armor with fouls, right? <laughs> <laughs> is that even official? Like, is it you can't modify like foul assisted assists don't modify the foul, right? So. <laughs> How it works, the exact wording, not exact, but roughly the exact wording is um, opposing players cannot modify your armor in any way. In so, any way. So, this, this, so some idiot on the internet, sorry, some valued YouTube watcher said, I think you're wrong because the player doesn't actually modify it, his assist does. <laughs> it's like, fuck oh my me. God. So, you know, if you want to be that fucking pedantic about it, then I guess you could argue that. But to me, it reads as, you know, you can't, you know, your assists don't modify it, but defensive assists would, right? Like, it, it does specifically say opposing players. So the way I'd look at it is, you know, like, if somebody blocked you and somebody fouled you and you had two defensive assists, you'd still get those two defensive assists, right? Um, because the, because that's your players modifying your armour. <laughs> and then if they fouled you with two offensive assists they wouldn't get it because their their players are modifying your run so that's the way I'd read it how are we feeling about this gym drive this drive gym this gym drive not good is it uh I mean I don't want to panic I kind of the old turn these, seven panic I, I've got these Things screaming in the back of my mind, like, how the fuck are we going to score? <laughs> <laughs> yes, me too. This is this is where, in my inner mind, it's just the loop of me saying, this is just cooked. This is just completely <laughs> cooked. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's hard, it's hard to score against Dark Elves. They defend really well, don't they? If they just stand yeah. in the way. If you just stand in the way, it's really, it's really hard to do anything. I really hope he doesn't move that bodge bit so oh, no. oh, I only one square, okay. Maybe I should have kept them in uh you know, those guys surrounded when I have those guys surrounded for a while, with you know, the ones on the floor. Stay longer to go somewhere. Uh, hard to say. See the problem with defending the ball so well is it just makes them not go for it, which means they Stay pretty rigid, right? So then they're hard to break down. If you just like <laughs> let them hit your ball, yeah, okay, <laughs> space. <laughs> they get themselves all out of position and then you score easily, right? So yeah. genius, Dio, yeah. the the man, the myth, the legend. I want to blitz this one. But I Which also one? want to blitz this one as well. That one. Mm. Yeah, I want to blitz this one and then put some people in counter. But I also want to blitz this one so I can blitz him, push him to there, then this guy can get out. And uh, I'll be a scoring threat. I could have two problem is you things. have to power the tackle that is the thing. No, 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 blitz this one. Oh, the the rookie. It's the rookie. 
I have to beat GF anyway, that's no shit. What happened to this guy then? Jonesy's played pretty well. Yeah. Really nice. Only 10 players as well. I mean, that's, uh, that's Dells, isn't it? You know, they just. All pal, nice. Ooh. They do things. Now we're getting spicy. Do you know what, Jim? What, Jim? I like to come in one more square over, I think. Yes, I should have done, but I was gone with the assisted guy rather than an imaginary guy. That's the problem, wasn't it? Because I'm all about that base. Are you going to have to... Oh, that's a 4 2, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, seeing as I, I mean, I, seeing as I could have got him there, so I could have gone one, one in. I'd rather, obviously rather being one in, but what can you do? Mm. <laughs> nice. Bye, see. Yeah, I like this turn. Thanks. The Dimmy Seal of Approval. Wow. Well, I was just wondering how you were going to, like, <clears throat> create the... I mean, he can still just fucking scream, can't he? He can, but, yeah. uh, I just don't think he can get over the left side enough. I don't know how to shut down. I guess with Blitz in the front, Blitz are that you dodge through at the end. And then we're just screaming. Mm -hmm. But then the problem is the Wrestle Witch can get in that far corner. So we kind of need to knock her down as well. Mm. So we're we just gonna. It's it's just eats too many activations to get everyone down that you need. Mm. And you you're in range with the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You need to be a All about the base, yeah, base. I'm not really a singer, Santa. I'm a man of very few talents. I <laughs> 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 can't sing, can't play a musical instrument. <laughs> Boss eyed. I'm right handed, but it's not very good. Did roll a power once. Hmm, I'm not sure. This is not enough. He needs to hit that wrestle witch. And he needs to chuck down the right side. Is that Lino out of range? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so he needs to ignore the Lino on the left, dodge that out and assist for the hit on the witch, in my opinion, and then bring the other Lino forward. Yeah, I probably should have split another player over this side. Over yeah, here. In, I mean, jump up's a pain in the ass as well. But hitting that witch down and right is probably okay. Yeah. Oh, no. Go down one square. Mm. See, that lino, despite being out of range, mm -hmm. has eaten two activations. Yeah, yeah, amazing. Yeah, he should have just completely ignored that player. Yeah, yeah that was that was uh, unforced error, Jim. Unforced yeah. error. Yeah. He just dodges off the witch. I definitely think hitting the witch was the the angle I would have gone mm -hmm. for. Oh, that's one square too far. Yeah, yeah, yeah better. I mean, this isn't super hard is it i guess it's i mean you've got like a blitz 1d blitz through three plus two plus is i mean that's fine isn't it I don't know. yeah i mean wor worst things comes to worst i've got a three wait it's so a 1d it'll be three, yeah so three, three three two two yeah so that's the that's the easy one without thinking i've just got to spend the rest of my turn thinking about 
if I can do something better. I. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, the other one is just 1D that flits her. And off to the witch. And then. But then that's two. Two with a reroll, two. And then you need you still need to one D the blitzer. I think that's better than the, the first option though. Yeah, I think I'm gonna hand off to the witch elf and score with her. What's two D Problem is the one one in nice look bad, but I think I'm just gonna score with her. Two D with the witch, you can't yeah. get the assist on it though. Yeah, I can. Two D with the witch. Oh my god, yeah, the guy went that the you hit, but he didn't. I just literally went to the wrong square, but apart from that, yeah. Uh, it's fine. What do you mean the wrong square? He should have been there, so I could have pushed him forward and then forward again. Now I've got to go across, added to GFI. Uh, literally added to GFI for no reason, because I just fucking misclicked. Jesus, that was... It's terrible. <laughs> terrible! But never mind. Got it done. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't pretty, was it? Uh I mean it was fine, like it wasn't a difficult score really, turn eight. Like I, I liked your turn seven. Thanks. I think we maybe could have shut it down a bit better, but Yeah. I thought it was I thought it was okay. Maybe I'm wrong. Am I a moron? <laughs> I mean, I like honestly. I've just accept. I'm not. I don't even ask it anymore. I'm just fully aware. <laughs> oh. Don't say yeah, that well. to me. I think you're a good player. Oh, don't you sound like Artemis? He's a what is it called? A journeyman, isn't it? I'm a journeyman. <laughs> oh, fuck you. You're not a journeyman. I think you're a good player, Jimmy. That's what he says. Well, that's what he said years ago. Definitely better than a journeyman. Definitely not better than K Fog. In between Space Cadet and K Fog. <laughs> I mean, isn't that isn't that everyone? <laughs> <laughs> it was That's just like, a joke. Space Cadet isn't that bad. Um, it, what's even it called? My son is in between K Fog. <laughs> <laughs> you know, on, a, on personality wise, you're in between uh, <laughs> Rick Reckless <laughs> and Artemis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, no, uh, be better than Mr. I think you're better than Mr. Page. There you go. I'll go. I'll go higher than uh, than uh, Elliot and say you're better than Mr. Page. There you go. I, I'm not. I'm not so sure. No, I'll I'd... be interested to see uh, Mr. Page in the World Cup because yeah. we don't really get to see him a lot in NAF. Like him for me, Blood Bowl is NAF now. Like I don't really. I've kind of retired from. The other, I, I say that I play in a league, like a tabletop league, but mm. mainly I'd say 90% of my blood bowl is just NAF. So. Yeah, I mean, the thing about NAF is it just, it just, it's just what works, isn't it? Like, you know, it just, it's just what worked the first time and has stayed like that forever. Do you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't mean that it's six skills is better than seven skills as the, as the base. Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's oh, no, just no, like, it, I mean, I am here. That's the thing. It's like if you only get. Five skills, all the other two. Oh, why is Elios like <laughs> popping up? <laughs> oh, fuck off. That's a oh, timeout. Yeah. Pay me. I just, yeah, I love, I love, uh, nostalgia. I absolutely love it. Not having that butt clenching moment every time your favourite player gets armour broken. Yeah. Thinking he's just dead, yeah. and your whole team is brilliant. Like for me, the six skills of NAF style is just, is just, just yeah, six versus five versus eight, yeah, yeah. I did, I did, but I am fixated on it. Well, he said NAF style, but yeah, yeah, okay. Now he said resurrection, which is different. Then he went on to resurrection, but that's the thing that I don't really like about the NAF style is. I just don't think six is. I don't think six is the magic number, but I think resurrection is obviously better. Yes, I'm definitely all about resurrection. 
I mean, as long as the rule set's fairly even, they don't allow every fucking star player on the planet to ruin your life. Yeah. It's quite fun. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't like. I really don't like Chalice. Like, I can't even watch the games. He didn't get his leader. He didn't get his runner back to pass the ball to for the one turn. Uh, yeah, that was a bit odd, wasn't it? Yeah. I guess this. Hang on, runners are movement seven. Runners are movement seven and have P oh, like three plus. Yeah, there's it's literally just no better. reason. Yeah. I mean, he can hand off anyway. It's not like a mad issue. Well, it, it is an issue, though, because it's correct, isn't it? <laughs> what, well, the, one of his issues is two, he's got two bludgers that are not in scoring range, mm -hmm. and they're like, the, oh, he's picking up the ball before he's put scoring threats yeah, in. Yeah, he had to put some there. scoring yeah. threats in. Yeah, this this was really bad. Yeah, yeah he had to put scoring this, threats in this first. Was, this was the worst turn he's played so far by a country mile. Yeah. He played a right on defense. Yeah. Yeah, that, that just had to put something in there. Yeah, too many positionals are deep. Totally agree. He's got three blodgers, none of them can score. Yeah. His only scoring threat is a wrestle player. <laughs> well, granted, he's just got jump up, so there's there's some saving grace to it, but still. Yeah. And he's used two rerolls before he's established any real scoring threat. But he can just roll some twos and have it all perfect. Yeah, I mean it's it's still like on, isn't it? It's still yeah. on. It's still basically guaranteed because you got a ride. Wow, Jim. And it is though. It is. It's just it's Bits fucking fantastic. Annoying. No, it's just it's just <laughs> fucking annoying, isn't it? Like it's especially so, mate, annoying and mate. This is gonna this is gonna happen on tabletop know, when you're at UKTC and then you, you you're on bottom table looking up at KFO, PC and Andy, <laughs> thinking what am I doing here? I know. When all your times run out on your chess clock and your opponent still got half an hour left. <laughs> That's never gonna happen, do you? Yeah, all right, Jim. That's right. never gonna happen. I play yeah. fast. I mean, I'm not as fast as KFO, but I play fast. But I'm gonna yeah. play slow anyway. I'm gonna really try my hardest. I'm gonna really, really, really try my hardest. Oh. I mean, good night, like, Santa. oh, night, Santa. The funny thing is, is like you're probably gonna be like the fourth best dark elf player on the team. <laughs> <laughs> Banter. Wait, it's I mean, not banter, is it? You just mean it. <laughs> PC's like a well-renowned dark elf coach now. Uh, Andy was originally a dark elf coach, wasn't he? His, his mini is him as a dark elf. And mm. then Kepo is Kepo. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure. You'll smash it. Do I just screen everything and then... Uh, can I screen everything? One, two, three, four... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I basically can screen everything and then I can like 1D the ball. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Just bear in mind the old... Oh, you've still got the linos up top. Yeah. Oh, screening is so shit nowadays. It is, yeah. Oh, is this the anti-jump screen? Yeah. I didn't cancel the assist. I can cancel this assist, can't I? And then push him forward. Wait, no, I can't. Yeah, no, I can. Yeah, oh my god, I'm so dumb. Right, just push him forward. Push him forward? Yeah, I don't have any choice, do I? Uh, yeah, the bow sounds good. So I can push him forward over this way, which stops him getting around this side. I don't want to use my last reroll to touch this guy out. I think you have to, right? Yeah, I think I do have to. Yeah. I think I think this dodge out is more important than you yeah. hitting the ball. To be honest with you. Yeah, so do I. I don't know if it's like square or not. 
Right, he's got go. dump off. <laughs> oh no! Well, it'd be funny if he just loses the ball though. Okay, so he doesn't oh. dump off. I thought you meant he's got a massive erection. <laughs> got him? Yeah. That makes the score somewhat less like a great scatter for Jimbo. Yeah, not bad at all. So, I think he's got to clear the ball, pick it up with the blodger, hand off to the witch and then cancel the assist of the middle blodger on the three on the left and blitz through and then probably three two through three two two mm -hmm. the problem is it's wrestle right so you need pushes see this is it jim i think that lino should have come down one square because now it's it's yeah. one into one in, and you could have made it like, oh no it still would have been one into one anyway yeah it doesn't matter. get to cars randomly disregard that was the scoring threat though wasn't it oh okay I guess it's just blitz and jump over, maybe that's better. I like the push push through. Do I like the push forward, you basically give them a free hit, surely. The problem is if I don't do the push forward, then I would have had to cancel the assist from here, right? And I hadn't moved anybody up there. So oh, I yeah, didn't the have push anybody forward. there. I literally didn't even have anybody there that I could have put in. Push forward is very problematic there actually yeah and if i push him forward this way oh no 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 you don't you don't, you don't from, yeah no that's yeah. not true you just push him into the lino and then the push the lino sideways no so no push actually... the witch off and push the witch off sideways yeah 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 either way you're not you're not pushing him onto your screen the lion, no so. no yeah I'd, put, I'd definitely pushed it right just so that it's it's further in from to get away Oh god, is this is this lino in range? One, two, three, four, five. Oh my why, god. Is, why is this? Which lino? One, two, this three, is... four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. This one, it's just a three. Three, two. It's just a three, two. Two, two, two. Three, two. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe this guy shouldn't have been here. Maybe he should have been up there or something there. No reroll for the GFI. It's GFIs. fucking bullshit. I, I fucking hate Riot. <laughs> this is a taste of the World Cup. Honestly, I'll just get fucking lose to a Riot. That seems like something that's definitely... <laughs> oh, happen. Jim, you're really, like, filling me with vibrance and positivity. This is that's me. Fun sponge, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's just the sad reality of tabletop, isn't it? That's just what it's like. Yeah, but it's like, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just just imagine you got the one turn, forget the riot, and then let's go again. I mean, I'm not crying or anything, it's just... Um... Shit happens in Bobo. Yeah. And when you accept it, it's easier to do. I mean, I am accepting it. I just can't not say anything, can I, Jimmy? I can't just sit here in silence. I can't just mute just myself. Sit there and suffer in silence, Jimmy. Okay. No, I'm joking. <laughs> don't, don't say okay. You <laughs> knob it. Elf BS, it was fine. It wasn't really Elf BS, it was just the kickoff BS. The Kaz on the uh, player was probably the worst bit of that. Still a level though. Yeah, the reserve's better here, isn't it? Because that that was a serious injury, so I get replacement back 100% of the time instead of 37 and a half. So. Yeah, actually correct. Mm. Interesting one. Yeah, it is interesting. I always just feel like the Apo's better than the uh, Lino, but then I always, I never, I always take the Lino, not the Apo. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I always do though. I always do. Like especially with knobs and stuff, I'd just rather have more knobs. And like, it probably makes more sense on knobs to have an Apo over a Lino. But, but it, on knobs it's different because the lino's are 45k and the apo's 50, so mm. it's not like you're doing a straight swap, you're normally losing something else. Mm. But like Norse, it's like you just can afford everything anyway, can't you? So I just have an apo and bench. 
Amazons, you get the Apo. Yeah. Humans, you probably get the Apo. I mean, with humans, you get everything, right? Like, you just get the yeah, like, humans. Amazons, you get the reserve ambulance for us. So oh, shut up. Oh, has he got a reroll or He gets an assassin, he just gets a fucking assassin, doesn't he? Oh no, wait, I got the assassin. Okay. Oh my right. god. Yeah, on the wrestle player. I thought players. I thought it was waiting for him to give the fucking player. I was like, for fuck's sake, but it wasn't. You don't get to choose on the assassin. Um, why wrestle over a tackle witch? Because it's just better. Um, because it's got... So basically, if you're, if you're hitting... Oh my god. If you're hitting somebody with dodge, it's exactly the same for getting the knockdown, right? Because you can just choose the wrestle to get them down if they've got blood. Um, oh my god. And there you go, I just lose my my just lose my defensive drive. Brilliant. Um and then it's like defensive skills, so like you know if somebody gets brought down against you, you're not knocked over. So like the wrestle gives you a defensive skill and an offensive skill. And also it means if like you're hitting something, you know, like if you're going for a ball sack that doesn't have dodge, then you're knocking it over fifty percent of the time instead of thirty three percent. So like, you know, really good versus um I don't know what would be that would, you know, I don't know, like I say a block, uh, like a blitzer, right, an orc blitzer, you're getting them down 50% instead of 33, so, yeah, it's just it's just way better, wrestlers just got a million times better, yeah, and combos with jump up a bit as well, yeah, yeah, wrestle's a really good skill for uh, low TV, but, Man, losing two players on turn one is just shit, isn't it? It's just drive over. Oh my god, you got Kaz Danke. Yeah, yeah, it's fuck. And you probably have to play aggressive as well, which is a shit. Yeah. Yep. And he's got dump off as well. <laughs> oh, it's a disaster. There we go, Robbie. Good lad. Do you know what? I think your biggest mistake is you haven't got any green in your kit. <laughs> you're right, I mean, that is my yeah, biggest mistake. Uh, I think I think that's that's why you're not winning. It's because you haven't got green flap in there. Yep. You need to go back to Jamaican roots, Jim. Yes. Do you remember Levi Root? Yeah, I do, yeah. Uh, he stole mate, what, that, didn't he, supposedly? What, reggae reggae sauce? Yeah. No, I actually yeah. quite like Rego Rietals. Like, yeah, he supposedly stole it. Fucking fire, straight fire. <laughs> That's the thing, isn't it? When, when you get money and stuff, everyone wants a piece. That's why I'm nice and safe. And <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm penniless. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes I'm, on you! <laughs> I'm happy in my little mud shack. <laughs> yeah, me too, to be honest. I'm wearing Tuesday's t shirt. Yeah. I've never really wanted to spend any money. Uh, all my money goes on trains and hotels. Because <laughs> I'm a giant nerd. Mm. Trains and hotels. And not even to nice places in England either. <laughs> <laughs> it's the biggest hotels ever. Yeah. That was a big it, reason right? not to go to Hartlepool, I tell you. Oh, is it really bad, is it? Yeah. I was going to go up to Monkey Bowl. What, what's, where's that? Hartlepool. Oh, it is Hartlepool, yeah. Mm. Is, that, is Hartlepool rough, is it? It's, yeah, it's pretty shit. I guess it's like a, a, an industrial town that doesn't have industry anymore, right? Isn't yeah. it? Is it like, it's like they got fucked by the shipping charter with the Danes, wasn't it? Yeah. They like, they basically sold their shipping rights to Denmark and then just destroyed the town's economy or something. Mm -hmm. Because like the seaside resorts in the southeast are all like yeah. all white. They're not like completely like dead ghost towns, but I know some of the other north northeasterly stuff look pretty shattered. So this is where you got to secure the draw for the team, Jimmy. This is this is UKTC game okay. six. 
AFO's winning. PC's drawing. Forgotten who the other one is. Andy Davo. He's drawing. also drawing. Yeah. If I Just draw, me. then PC will carry us home. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a likely scenario, honestly, that <laughs> that we just rely on K-Folk to go 6-0. I mean, if anyone's going to do it. PC, PC's a performer, though. PC. <laughs> In more ways than one. <laughs> Slan again. Slan again at UK. T I need to play Slan at a uh, tabletop. I don't really, I don't really have to joy though it doesn't the team doesn't really spark joy i played him in the league i won my league with slam actually officially league champion in my first season mm. with slam well done yeah it was quite different it was more difficult than i thought it would be actually <laughs> <laughs> like not in a big head like, i guess that sounded really bad um, <laughs> but yeah i uh didn't expect it to be easy but i, I thought it <laughs> I thought it wouldn't be so hard. You're probably top 10% of Blood Bowl players, Dimmy. Well, I may be like ranked number 50 in Hastings, but I'm ranked number one in Folkestone, so there you go. There you go. <laughs> I just had to go to the next town <laughs> 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 to get a chance. Slime. Oh, Matt Fleet. Fancy Is that a tabletop league, is it? Or is it a Blood Bowl 2 league? Or? My my advice is random strip ball on a lino as quickly as possible, mm -hmm. because the truth of my league was I played the, like the rookie game, oh Blood Bowl Two League. Yeah, it's slightly different because you haven't got the multiple rerolls. I love the minis in uh, the minis, the models in Blood Bowl Two. I love the flying circus. Um. Mm. Progression was way better in Football 2 with the doubles. Do you remember rolling a double and being really excited? Yep. And, uh, rolling not, doubles plus strength as well. And not being absolutely rinsed for TV for taking a secondary. Yeah. Yeah, 40 TV secondaries are brutal. Yeah, it really quite makes me question. Like, I took, I played Undead in black box trophy and saved up for a block mummy and then I had a block mummy and every team I played against just had like eight skills because they were all randoms <laughs> and they just smashed me but yeah so slan really horrible game one with no skills really horrible game two and then I random strip ball on a lino and then I won every single game after that <laughs> but who's to say if a 3 plus uphill strip is OP mm. pretty OP doubles non primary it was 30 wasn't it for a double yeah. 30 people. yeah 30 whereas it's now 40 but stats are better now aren't they with AVB and, and it, was, it, it was the same SPP wasn't it you didn't have to pay more SPP it was just it no, he just one. rolled good. Like, it's fairer yeah. now, right? It's fairer because... Yeah, because you're spending the same amount of us people. Like, a high amount of us people. Mm -hmm. But, like, now you can pick what you want, right? You can't... Like, before it was like, oh, I've rolled a double on this player, so now it's going to change the way I build him. Yeah. Whereas now it's just like, you know what you want on every player. Pretty much from the get-go. Yeah. Do I want to go in? I mean, not really. He's just going to beat me off, isn't he? Strength Blitz is amazing, yeah. And what was Strength? What was Strength? Was it 50k? Yeah. Yeah, now it's 80k. Holy shit. No, and it's such a problem that, like, I'm just down players, what can I do? I just, I just don't know what I can do. You can 
be a member of Team Positive and suck it up or whatever that. Yeah, but like I don't know what to do. Like genuinely, I don't know what to do. Like I'm not whining or anything. I just don't know what to do. <laughs> Why are you joking, man? No, I know, but I'm not. I'm just saying I don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. This is shit. I'm just gonna come yeah, down. Yeah, maybe. maybe get served. Yeah, maybe not get your line so yeah. I mean, at least he's gonna do something for doing this. <clears throat> it's getting a BB3 sign on Discord, can't be honest. Oh, I'm not in the BB3 Discord. I uh, I quit that shit a long time ago. When I was going through my um, Stoic philosophy phase. And just being like, yep. Yeah. Ain't nobody got time for that. What was it? There was a geezer in there, I'm not going to name his name, there was a geezer in there who had so many outlandish opinions on everything, <laughs> and I bet he, I bet it to this day he hasn't played a single game of Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> <laughs> I, honestly, if you check his like name and his record, I bet he doesn't even play Blood Bowl 3. Mm. I mean, I wouldn't blame him if he didn't. <laughs> <to be laughs> <honest>. <laughs> it's probably... A smart guy. <laughs> I can't wait for UKTC when it hits game six. Jim gets timed out on and he's just screaming at PC. I don't know what to do. <laughs> 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 I just don't know what to do. Like I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. Wait, I told you the story about my dad crashing the cherry picker, didn't I? No. No, not too. Oh, mate, it was so fucking funny. Like not for the geezer whose car got massacred, but we were in a car park, like working on a job, and uh, my old mate, like it was a cherry picker, but it was like a van with like a cherry picker basket on the back. So it wasn't like a proper one with like the uh, platform and that. And it, he just reversed into this geezer's car. And then like, you know when panic just sets in and you just lose control of like all your senses and stuff? <laughs> right. So then like, uh, he's reversed into the geezer's car and then like he's drove forward and then reversed back into it again. And then like, and then he just got to this weird kind of phase of just driving forward and reversing back into it like and then the guy that like after like the third time he just hit this geezer's car um my mate jason was like what are you doing open the door like dragged him out and he like he like he got out all disheveled and like wobbly and like, <laughs> wobbled out of the cherry picker and he just lost his head completely like as soon as he hit it he's just like oh my god and it was very much a I don't know what to do moment where <laughs> I, d I should not have done this this was the worst thing I could have done uh, potentially Doom on his chest clock yeah yeah I oh, quite, I kind of want a chess clock actually. I'm actually a little bit slower than I thought. I played on a chess clock in Folkestone. But there's so many like parts of the game where you're like, whose fucking clock is this? Not the kick off events. It's my opponents. They're fucking slow yeah. and they're fucking fast. <laughs> to be fair, he was hand rolling, which meant like he was playing fast. Like, that is one thing about a dice cup, is it does eat time. Like. <clears throat> But then Yudlagar, Yudlagar showed me the light with dice rolling, he, d he just gets it done, he doesn't faff about, he just puts the dice in the cup and rolls. Mm. Mm.
Any news on your uh, team, Jimbo? What, what, my Dark Elf team? Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> no. Um, I think it's going to happen, you know, sometime. You think, <laughs> you think it's going to happen? Uh, yeah, I mean, I got a message, you know, saying... Um, Uh, I'll make them look good. There you go. Nine nine days ago. <laughs> oh, nine days ago. Print quality past the check. I'll clean them up and plan things out later this month. So there you go. Did he print them himself? Then, I guess. Mm. I'm tempted to get a printer. <laughs> but then I just think that. This is the problem, I just spent all those turns just doing nothing and then because I just do that shit turn he just gets dead far forward, I can't stop him and I've just got to try and stab him, like it's just fucked. I mean I had no players, maybe I should have just faced everybody like an idiot. I haven't, I haven't, yeah, I really don't know what I'm going to do. Well, I don't know what to do, but <laughs> I also don't know what team, but that was just fuck. that was such a fuck turn. I wasted a reroll and didn't achieve nothing. It was diabolical. I mean, that, that turn lost me the game, but, well, no, the, the fucking, to be fair, the absolute bullshit uh, kickoff result lost me the game. But, um, maybe, maybe losing two men on the LOS lost me lost me this as on top of the kickoff result, but the kickoff result wasn't the game. Obviously, nothing you can do is that. Just lose. Opponent gets to win for free. Guess I'll lose then. Um, and then the two cars. Is, what can you do? It's just hard. Isn't it? like, it's just. Too, it's probably just too hard. Uh, maybe they just had to go for a cage dive as early as possible. Maybe I just had to do that. Right, all men's LOS. Put everything in and hope for dice rolls from turn one. As terrible as that is, maybe it was the only way. I mean, it's really hard, isn't it, with fucking nine players? <coughs> yes. There's no getting around it that it's a very. Uh, a very swingy, dicey game, isn't it? Bob. Yeah, kick off, re kick off results and removals are, are massively. I mean, impactful. they are better than they used to be, to be fair. Yeah, they're still shit. <laughs> not and not in NAF actually. They're right, they're worse than they are in NAF in terms of the uh, officious ref, because you can't apple it. Oh yeah, that's. Terrible. Yeah, but blitz isn't as bad. And, yeah. Well, Blitz isn't as bad unless you get an Olivier de Lac Blitz. <laughs> the absolute Carlsberg Blitz of uh, BBSL. <laughs> So you still undecided about which elves you're going with or what? I'm undecided whether to go elves or not. I might just have to take a fucking banger team and just bang people. That's all I can all I'm capable of. <laughs> oh Jim man. All I'm capable of. <laughs> like I don't know what I could have done here. Like I just don't know what I could have done. So if the argument is I can do something with nine players. Oh, I fucking didn't, did I? So I might as well just go lizards and just hope I dice everybody. Wow. Like, lizards are the best team at the end of the day. 
So this is absolutely the number one team for just, you know, just auto winning a sizable percentage of your matches. And then, you know, if you, that's pretty good, isn't it? Like, take as much skill out of the equation as possible and then just like, all right, I'm going to be 60-40 to win every game. And then, okay, I'll get dice sometimes, but so what? Seems better than being like, you know, 51 49 every game, and then you'll get dice less. I'm not, I'm not feeling the dark elves. I, I'd like to have a team that I was good at, you know? Like, other people have got a team they're good at, haven't they? Like... <laughs> this geezer's just about to paint your dark elf team, Jim. I know, yeah. But, you know, like, other people have got a team they're good at. Like, oh my god. Oh, well, okay, I didn't expect him to just give the ball away. <laughs> um... Like, I'd like to be good with a team. You know the way that K-Fog's good with... Uh, every team. Every team. Like, more with Wood Elves, right? And... You know, how... Um, PC's good with Dwarves and stuff. I'd like to be good with a team. PC's not a Dwarf coach anymore, Jimmy. Only on Tabletop. Jimmy. <laughs> like if you if you had one person in the world to play for your life with dwarves, who would you pick? Me. Would you really? I would this. I don't believe you. I believe you'd pick purple chest. I'd pick myself. Every <laughs> time. Every goddamn time. Okay. If you weren't allowed to pick yourself, who would you pick? <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, probably PC. Yeah. Oh, that was alright, wasn't it? Um, does it have to be here? I can't, I can't, I can't actually win. Well, I got the draw. Thanks, team. What? There you go, you just won UKTC, Jimmy. How mm -hmm. great does that feel? Brilliant. See? I'd like to thank my parents. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even moan about it either. Like, that was the amazing thing. That it was, it was, was, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. You get rock solid. Like you were... Honestly, I'd, I'd yeah. like to thank everyone I practiced with, particularly Jonesy, who just decided to roll the 2 plus for no reason to give me the draw. <laughs> that was really weird, wasn't it? Just pointless handoff. Really weird. That was just a pointless, pointless handoff. Had like he had the the free score and just rolled a two plus. Amazing. <clears throat> so you know, yeah. good for him, I guess. Yeah. That um, that he's learned. <laughs> that two pluses can fail sometimes. <laughs> so he should get a bigger takeaway from it than me, and I guess I've just got to, uh, I've just got to realize that people can roll two pluses for no reason. You think the uh, back line is weaker against the timeout? Maybe if you back line but not <clears throat> so far back. I mean, I could have just set up to stop the one turn a bit, or just set up for the riot and or time out and not cared about the one turn because it's it's hard, right? A movement seven one turn is so hard that I just didn't care about the one turn. So I could have just set up just against the riot. I probably should have just set up against the riot, honestly. And then what, does that, that what, what, what does that look like? We'll just set up like in aggressive chevrons. Aggressive chevrons. Okay. Mm. Probably. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm asking for like my own personal development. Yeah, that's why. Probably, like, you know, it's like you can't really set up that well against it, right? You know what I mean? But like, that's probably the best odds, isn't it? And then, like, chevrons is about the best you can do because it's like 
covers the sides as much as you can. Yeah. Maybe just shove on some. Yeah, maybe. Maybe back line like six squares back or something so that, you know, it's on the line that they want to be on, right? Like so. Like, or like, or like six lines, but yeah, a, a line on the sixth square in so that, you know, like he's got a, yeah, a possibility, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, um, GG, Jonesy, and. Uh, yeah, well played, think, Jonesy. Yeah. Apart from that handoff, <laughs> well played. <laughs> and uh, thank you, Dimmy. Glorious having you in the booth. It was it was really nice. I mean, it was really chill and like happy, positive vibes. Yeah, yeah, really positive, wasn't it? So uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe, <laughs> and stay fantastic.